my soul. Oh my soul. All that is within and me. All that is within me. Hallelujah. Yes, it's holy name. name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Rain, Jesus, rain. Rain.
this, as you begin to take your journey, always remember that you have a rock to hide in, okay, my sister? And there's no matter whatever time it is to be day in the middle of the night, you can get up and you can pray to that person, hallelujah. Or never forget, he's always by your side. He will never give up on you as long as you never give up on him. Amen. At this moment, we're going to have a final chorus. Hallelujah. The final song. As we turn the service over to the Lord, we give Jesus' name.
Jesus. Without him, how lost I would be. Amen. Amen. It's not a simple step that you're taking. Amen. This is a step that you're taking for the rest of your life. And I love the way there will be trials. And I'm telling you that because I am a testimony. Amen. I am a testimony. I took that step several years ago but I faltered. But God never gave up on me. And if I can stand here today and tell you he never gave up on me, I know he will not give up on you. And my, my sister, so continue. As you begin this journey, don't give up. You have brethren around you that will always look up for you. Whenever you have an issue, find one that you can confide in. And they will always be there to advise you. Amen, my sister? At this moment, we come to the end of our worship session. And I'd like to hand the service over to the moderator in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless the Lord. Praise God. Oh my soul. Praise God. Bless his holy name. God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. God is good. There's some rejoicing here today. We know that God has taken one out from this dark world and bring her into Mother our life. Slide. We know the adversary doesn't like that, but it is the Almighty God. Truly. He does whatever He pleases with. Praise God. Bless His holy name. We want to thank God. Just want to give a shout out to Eula Reverend. Good to be here with you. Praise God. Praise God. As we journey into our service, my sister, our sister Donald said, you know, the tribulations will come. But remember, God is on your side. And he's the one that's going to fight your battles. So always take your battle to God. Praise God. Praise God. At this time, we'll do song. I want to do song. Um... I will not be denied. Um, I think it's 431 from our hymnal. 431. 431 from our hymnal. 431. And this is what you say, my sister, to the adversary. You will not be denied. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Bless his holy name. When times are dead.
Would not be denied. Oh, praise his name. Bless his holy name. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. You know the timing is so good. The sister is taking out that old garment and she's going to put on the new garment where she can come to the feast. What, what a timing, brethren. Amen. What a timing to take out the old garment and put on that new one and be able to come to the feast. Because you cannot come to the feast in this old garment. You got it. Praise God. Praise God. Bless his holy name. We'll do one more song. 274. 274. Pass me, Lord. Oh, Lord, gentle Lord, Savior. Savior. Here. Yeah. Bless his holy name. Oh, humble Christ. So now you could say that, my sister. When Christ is passing, you could say to him, Pass me not. Praise God. Bless his holy name. Praise God. Please stand, brethren, as we celebrate the sister of Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Pass me not, O oh, gentle Savior. Oh.
Do not pass me by. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Glory this to God. Our scripture reading is taken from Matthew, the third chapter, 1 through 17. Praise God. Glory Praise to God. Praise the Lord. Yes, 
Jesus. Amen. Who knows that I will live to see a time like this that I can encourage one of his children to be strong and steadfast oh, yeah. and bold and be courageous I'm and waiting upon the Almighty God. Amen. And here we are this afternoon, this evening, with great privilege. Amen. I give God thanks for my dear sister Candice. Amen. The word of God said, the angels oh. in heaven rejoice it. Amen. Over one sinner that repented. And the angel of God rejoices over you today, Sister Candice. Oh, what glory it is. Amen. Just to know, just that we in this little congregation are happy and rejoice over the step that you made. But the word of God told us that the angels of God rejoice it. And today, we give God thanks for you. We give God thanks for your parents. We give God thanks for the wound that bear you. We give God thanks for the word that he has shown to you. We give God thanks for the opening of your eyes, the clearing of your ears, and the understanding of your heart. We give God thanks for you. And we know that the presence of God is here, even Jesus Christ. Because the word of God told us there are two or three of his children are gathered together in his name. He is here in the midst. Amen. How often we hard and yet here to bless. But we read the word of God from Genesis to Revelation. Nowhere the word of God said to bless, say in the midst of us. Sometimes he blesses us, sometimes he encourages us, he teaches us, and sometimes we need a good whipping to correct us so that we could stay in the straight and the narrow way. Amen. But however, I give God thanks for you Amen. this evening to know that you will be taken your step to baptism. I heard so many say, I love the Lord, I believe in him, but I will not let no man on the face of the earth dip me under the water. But I give God thanks for your humility. I give God thanks for the acceptance of the spirit that he gave you so that you could see that you need a savior. We all need a savior. Even though we are righteous and we are moving on, each day we sin in thoughts, word, and deed. But glory be to God, we are here on this premises because of you this evening. Amen. And we give God thanks most of all that Jesus is here. Amen. I desire with all my brethren to encourage you in the name of Jesus. Amen. It is a beautiful step. It is a glorious step. Amen. It is the right step. It is the best step. But know that along this pathway, there are thorns and there are tissue in the way. There are blockage. But most of all, Jesus promised that he will be with you. And he said, as he said to Joshua, I am quoting, he said, be not dismayed, nor be afraid. For I, the Lord thy God, I will be with you wherever you go. So, God said, he will not fail you, Sister Candice, my dear daughter. Neither he will reject you. God is worthy to be praised. The word of God told us, Thus saith the Lord, he that created the heaven and is stretching forth. He that spread out the earth and everything that is upon it and great out of it. He that gave it bread unto the people. And because of his bread, we are alive this morning and we are praising him and the spirit he allow us to walk therein. So my dear sister Candice, God encourage you today with your brethren.
brethren, be strong, be courageous, be bold, be brave, be steadfast, and enduring. For it's only he that endure and to the end shall be saved. Almost cannot avail, almost cannot prevail, almost cannot attain, almost is lost. And I know with the help of the living God, through his Christ, through his son Jesus Christ, he said, the spirit of the living God that raised Jesus Christ from the dead, he dwell in you, he will be with you, he will encourage you, he will surround you, that wherever you go, you will not be afraid. Why? Because great is Christ that is within you than he that is in the world. And I could stand here with the assurance to encourage her to say, every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Every day with Jesus. I love him more and more more. Jesus save and keep me. And he is the one. Neighbor is looking for every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. I pray God, I know He will keep you. So keep your eyes looking up. Look not to the right, not to the left, because there are so many obstacles. There are so many thorns in the way. But focus on Jesus, because He who began a good work, no doubt, He will take it unto the end. So be strengthened. Be encouraged, be blessed. When mother forsake you, and fathers, and friends, and brethren, and all the world go against you, remember Jesus. He promised he'll never leave you, nor forsake you. And the word of God said, Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither have it entered into the hearts of man. The things that God has prepared for those that love him. So be strong. Be diligent. Be steadfast. Be encouraged. Read your word. From day to day. And allow God to give you that heart. That as you read. He will instill a passage within you. So that when the time comes. That you should speak with someone, you should just pull it out. Because the word of God is a sword. It's a sword to separate the enemy. It's a sword to cut the enemy. Let Jesus be your backlax. When Jesus is your backlax, it does not matter who come against you. They can know the word of God from Genesis to Revelation. Turn it inside out, upside down. But when you speak, speak as thus said the Lord. And God promised that he'll be with you unto the end. Heavenly Father, upon the authority of your word that cannot be broken. We bring your daughter before this sister Candice. You know so my name and nature. You promise all that come along to you. You will let no wife cause out. So here she is, your daughter. No the help she has. No the help is here. You will not withdraw yourself from her. Oh, where shall we go? So we lift up into your hand. As your word said, 99 was safely laid in the shelter of the fold. But one left the home. And you went far away. But Lord, I thank you for the blood, blood, jumps, blood of the jump stain of blood that marked the track along the way that he can find his own and bring him back to the fold. Sister Candace, be strengthened, be encouraged, be blessed, be comforted, but most of all, endure to the end and rest. In the arms of Jesus. Amen. Let him shelter you. In the hollow palm of his hand. In the secret of his bosom. Under his wing. Where none 
can hurt his children. May you be anointed. May you be anointed with the power from on high. Dust yet the Lord in Jesus' name. And who God bless? 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 And who God cause? No man bless. In Jesus' name. Bless me, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Bless the Lord, brethren. We give God a praise. Give God a praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let's exalt his name together. This evening I greet you in the wonderful and precious name of Jesus Christ, our soon coming King. You know, we are here to celebrate the doings of the Lord. Amen. Not our doings, it's the doings of the Lord. Amen. And so today I'm giving God thanks for this Amen. moment, for Amen. Sister Candice. Amen. You know, we, we can preach, we can talk, we can do everything, but we cannot reach her heart. Amen. It's the word of God that reach her heart. Amen. And today I'm giving God thanks that she was called. And not only called, but she was chosen as well. Amen. Many are called, but it's not everyone is chosen. And so many are called, and they come to church, but still they are not chosen. And so today we are giving God thanks that you have heed the warning, Sister Kelly. We realize that preaching is not in vain. It is not in vain. Revelation is not in vain. Because there are so many things you have heard. But if there was not a preacher, then you wouldn't be able to think about the things that you were doing. Mm -hmm. And so today I can say there, there is therefore now no condemnation yeah. to them that are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Hallelujah. And so today it was condemnation then. But as the scripture said, there is no condemnation now. And so, Sister Candice, we are giving God thanks for you. That the word of God is, the word of God still has strength. The word of God is still powerful. The word of God is still calling. The word of God is still sanitizing. Let me say that way. The word of God is still, it can sanctify you. And today, Sister Candice, I am so glad for you. I'm giving God that. You might be shedding tears, but it is tears of joy. And we are here to celebrate with you. We are here to celebrate this moment with you. And because you have set your affection on things above, that's why you are here. Because you mortify your, the, the deeds of the body, the, the, because you are mortified, the members of your body, that's why you are here. Because if you are still living in sin and you did not set your affection on things above, you will not hear the message of Jesus. So I give God thanks for you. I'm giving God thanks that, you know, it was not only the preaching that, that, that called you. The Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God for the Holy Spirit. Because it is still doing its work and it will continue to do the work until Jesus comes. Sister Candice, you will face so many trials and tribulations. But thanks be to God. The Holy Spirit is there to guide you into all truth. Your brethren are here to help you. When you feel as if all is gone, then sis, just look to Jesus. Keep your eyes on Jesus. When the tidal waves of trouble roll your road, keep your eyes on Jesus. He will calm the storm that tossed your soul. And today, I am just talking for all the brethren. We are not. We are elated for you, sister. And I do hope that as you take your baptism, we know it is to fulfill all righteousness in your life. Amen. And as you take your baptism this evening, I pray that God will continue to keep you 
I pray that the Bible will be your guide. I pray that the words of God will be your companion. And so, as you read the words of God, I pray that God will inspire you. That as you read, you will understand. Not only to read, but to understand. And not only to understand, but to obey the words of God. Because obedience is better than sacrifice. And it's only that those who obey will enter the kingdom of God. Amen. And so this evening, Sister Candice, we are here to support you. And it's not only the little flock that is in, is in believers' tabernacle. The church of God is worldwide. It's everywhere. God's people are everywhere. And so you have more than hell. You have more than a comfort. You have you have more you, sister. You have not only sisters, but you have brothers. Amen. So it's not only sisters, you have brothers as well. And so today we give God thanks for you. What can I say? But that you will continue to grow in grace. Let the word of God dwell in you richly. Amen. That you'll be growing, that you'll be able to grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. And so, sister, if you allow the word of God to be in you, you will not be stagnant. Mm. But you will be pressing towards the mark of the higher calling of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Amen. God bless you as you can continue to be obedient, to live for him and keep your eyes on Jesus. Job was tested. When he looked before, it's, it's as if God wasn't there. When he looked behind him, it's as if God wasn't there. He looked at each side. But then what he did, what, what did Job do? He held his crown. He continued to look up to God. Amen. And so, sister, he asks that you will keep close to the Savior. He will take you through. He will carry you through. God bless you. God keep you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Sister Dawn. She stepped out. Sister Dawn, yeah. we'll do a chorus before we bring up um, the candidate. Anybody have a chorus? Beloved, beloved. Beloved, 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 come we are the sons of God, and we love God, yes.
time, we have our candidate. We're going to give her the opportunity to come up and just let her heart out. This time, we'll call her Sister Candice. Amen. Amen.
It was mm -hmm. terrible. And um, after that fasting, I, when the sun was going down that evening and the fasting was ending, I wanted to sleep so bad. I know, this, it's like a spirit of sleepiness was just over me all the time. And I was falling asleep on the couch and I remember hearing get up and read my hallelujah psalms. And I, got, I jumped up off the couch and I started reading from Psalms 145 to Psalms 150. The hallelujah psalm, the praise ye the Lord psalms. And then I received this scripture that says, as many as I love, I rebuke and chast chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. And I started writing. I got pen and paper and I started writing names of all the people that I think I might have said something bad to, that I might have hurt, and I wrote, and I wrote a complaint. And I called them up. I first I said to Father, I for forgiveness, for mercy, and I called them up. And then this is the beginning of this journey. January 1st, and like the real beginning of it. Yeah. I called him and apologized and so forth, and I ended the relationship, but I didn't do it right. I just ended it, and then I started spending real serious time with God. And that's when it's like the curses, the curses that we fall under. Because then it gives the devil an opportunity. You understand? 
And then the, the gas glass pee was not the gas glass. Like it's important for us to read those gospels, to know that you like the gas and preach it in peace. He said peace. And try not to offend because I'm telling you sometimes people are in their weakest moment playing tough. And it takes one little thing to just tear them right down. Right now, one little offense, one little word, just bring that person down. And I said, we taught you to keep the commandments. At one point, I found myself writing out Matthew, his teachings. I, I, his teachings in Matthew. And I wrote that in January, and I decided I wrote all them down. And then I tried, you know, to. But well, then along the way, along the chart, is along the way, I erred. I was walking, learning, and I erred. And during that time, there was a moment where I was. I heard a voice. I was like, what is this And I heard a voice loud and clear that Candice do not do it. And I did it. He will deal with that. He will do it, deal with the judgment. 
that you are dead. Dead to the world. Dead to the works of the flesh. Dead to anger. Dead to the weaknesses. Oh, I get angry quick. That's just me. No, that's not you. That's not what God wants you to be. That's right. You are dead to those things. Don't you understand? Mm -hmm. So you are now becoming a creature of God. Hallelujah. You are now becoming a babe and you're living in God now. Amen. That is why you are different in the house. As a husband, your wife can say truly, when I married this man, he was this kind of person. Hmm? Right. Now I could see the light of God in him. Amen. 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 And your, your uh, husband can say the very same thing about you. Because we, and because God has endorsed us, and God put His trust in us, and He He speaks to us in dreams, He speaks to us in vision. Amen. We judge ourselves before any judges. Mm -hmm. I only have thirty seconds. <laughs> For you are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. Mm -hmm. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear. Then shall he also appear with him in glory. My God, I can't wait. What a moment. Beloved friends, look at tribulation. Look at trouble in this world. What is your comfort? What is your aim? Is it not for when the saints go marching in to be in that number? This is why we are here. Believe it or not, at the end of the journey, this is why we are here. This is why we make sacrifices. Amen. For us to be in that number, Brother Thompson, Amen. at the end of it all, Amen. so that Messiah can say, well done. Good and faithful so, Sister Candice, today is your day. It is your time. Amen. God bless you. As we support we, as we support you, and we also come to witness Amen. the burial yes, of the old man. And that you will be rise in a fruit. A fruitful tree yes. that bears much fruit in the house of God. I see a lot of potential in you. God bless you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. 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 We get in. We get into that point. Praise God. We go to pray over the water. Take a chance to do the honors of that. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. 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 Please stand. Praise His holy name. Amen. Father in heaven, Amen. come we over to you once again. Oh, Heavenly Father, we have heard the words of your daughter. She has testified of her journey. Almighty oh, God, you have brought her this far. And so far, as she is about to enter the waters. I pray, oh God, that you would go in that water with her. Mighty God, touch this water today, I pray. Oh, Father, as she enters the water, oh God, Allow her to leave the old ways, the old man, that old person, that old pathway. Oh, Father, as she comes up, oh, Father. I pray, oh God, as your words have said, allow her to walk in newness of life. And be with her on this journey, I pray. Touch the water today, I ask, oh, Heavenly Father. Uh, this I ask in order to him. But through your son, I'm sure I'm excited. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Bless him. We'll do with the chorus as Pastor gets in. Sister Don. The water is shovel, my friend. Step right in. God Almighty power is moving every hour. No
Blessed be the fountain of blood yes, yes, yes. to a world of sinners revealed. Amen. Blessed be the dear Son of God, Hallelujah. only by His tribe. We are here. We are here. Praise God. Yes, Praise God. Yes, you think Sister Kenneth Rowe could not talk? Mm -hmm. she, you she talk to the right? Yes. Praise be to God. I remember one night when we were studying about 8 o'clock until yeah, yeah. 2 in the morning. Wow. Yes, me and she alone. Praise God. I, then I go, I have to go in the living room, let my wife sleep. Yeah. <laughs> because she don't take no for an answer. Yeah, yeah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. And thank God, the time has come. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The time has come. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Praise God. Is she a long waiting for? Yeah. Blessed be God. Yeah. She wanted it a long time ago. But the Bible gave me such commission. Amen. Preach the gospel to them. Amen. Then you baptize them. Amen. Then you continue to teach them. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And she tell me, it's all the people who I ever teach in baptism class. She's the hardest one. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I have to answer everything. No pastor. Then you have to go to the nitty gritty. That's a good thing. Yes, sir. And I, I love that. I, I said, yeah, I said, Pastor, can I ask? I said, oh, I'm going to ask him. He said, ask me. Ask me. Praise God. <laughs> Blessed be God. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Sister Candice Rowe. Praise God. You come to the conclusion that Jesus Christ is your Lord and your Savior. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And you have made it up in your mind to follow Him. Amen. So, when the way He leads me, I will follow. I will follow. For I have learned to trust Him so. Hmm. Praise God. So, this evening, my sister, I want to take uh, this moment for you to listen back to God for me. Praise God. It's going on coming, right? Praise God. So I want you to understand that you're going on into a grave, a watery grave. And as I said before, it is illegal to bury a light person. So if you're, you're, you're not dead, don't let me bury you. Because Paul said to the brethren at Rome, said, you are buried with him in baptism. And as Christ was raised from the dead, so likewise you. And I think he presented in Colossians. Trees, if you will risen with Christ, yes, see those things which are above. Which are above. Yes, Praise yes, God. Yes. And John the Baptist said, I baptize you with water. That's all I can do. But one that is coming after me is mightier than I. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whose shoes are not worthy to lose. Yes, yes, yes. He shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Because without the Spirit of God, it is impossible for you to go through. Praise God. So we believe His Word. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. You want to say something? Yes. Oh, she wants to say something again. All right. Father. <laughs> A beautiful thing. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. You ready? Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Upon the confession of your faith, 
and by the gospel commission, Amen. I now baptize you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. Merciful, ever faithful, the true and living God. You are from everlasting to everlasting. You are God. We thank you. Oh, blessed be God. Thank you, we thank you. When the seed was sown, your word declared that some fell on stony ground. But this one, oh God, all into good ground. Your word reminded us if it fall into good ground, it will bring forth fruit. And not only bring forth fruit, but the fruit will remain. We thank you for what been transpired here this evening. May your grace and your mercy come to be multiplied for your people. Help us, God, to walk second step before you, Amen. not as fool, but as wise. As we are about to go to our several homes, I pray you may go with us. We know that the angel in heaven rejoicing, but Satan is mad. So we ask you to, oh God, protect us from the wise of the devil. Because he's out there right now, like a roaring lion. Walking about. Walking about, seeking whom he may devour. But because you're an able God, you're a capable God, you're a God that protects your people. You have led the children of Israel through the Red Sea, through Jordan, through the wilderness. Yes, Shows that you can lead us to everywhere you want us to go. We ask for this missing service now, we pray. I pray for the musicians, oh God, Amen. that play, oh God. So, oh God, when I call, they always answer. I thank you for them. I thank you likewise for the administrator, oh God, in Beulah. Pastor Mark, 
Assistant Pastor Q. President Watson. Oh, bless your name, Jesus. Deacon Gilfillian. There are so much, oh God, to give thanks. And to be that do the work at the door. I thank you, oh God. I pray, oh God, that this church will continue to go and go. Have mercy, we beg you. And lead us, O oh King, eternal, immortal, invisible God. Let your divine will be done. And help us, my God, that we may continue to be steadfast and movable and always abounded in your work. Give us the mind. Give us the heart. Help us to realize that we are in closing moments of time. So we must do what we can for you. Thank you again. His mercy will ask in Jesus' name. Amen. May the saving grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of this Holy Spirit, the rest remain and bind us all now and forevermore. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.